Hello everyone and welcome. Cameras are everywhere nowadays. In our cell phones, our laptops, our tablets. But how do they capture what we see? I will explain it and I will even show you how to make your own camera using a cardboard box. It all starts with the lens. The lens is curved to the outside or otherwise called a convex lens. Behind the lens we place a surface for the image to be projected on. In front of the lens we place our object we want to capture. In this example I will use a tree. The light from the image of the tree will pass through the lens. The lens will project the image on the surface but it will be upside down. Very important for getting a sharp image is to get the right distance from the surface to the lens. This is called the focal length. The focal length is a unique property to each lens. If the distance is increased or decreased from the focal length, the image will get blurry. In analog cameras, the image would be projected on a light sensitive film or optical film. The chemical film contains microscopic crystals. When the light strikes the film, it will slightly darken the areas where it strikes, depending on the intensity of the light. This is why an image from an optical tape is a negative image. The actual image is chemically developed later. To make our own camera, the first thing we need is a lens. A simple magnifying glass can be used for this. Of course, we also need a cardboard box. Mine is a cereal box. The first thing I did was measure the diameter of the magnifying glass. I used this to cut out a hole in the box. Then I fixed the magnifying glass by taping it on. I made another piece of cardboard with a piece of paper glued to it. This will be the projecting surface. I made it so I can adjust the distance to the lens to get a sharp image. I used this desk lamp as my object. I place my camera at a distance. If we take a look inside the box, we can see the desk lamp being projected upside down. The camera works. If I modify my projecting surface and make a grid out of it, it will show the basics of a digital camera. I put the grid surface in the box and look at the projection again. The light intensity can be seen for each square of the grid. We can think of the squares as pixels in a digital camera. All the pixels make up a complete image. In a digital camera, the image is divided into pixels. The light intensity of each pixel is stored. If the image is reproduced, it will look something like this. The only difference, instead of the few pixels here in this example, there will be millions of them in a real camera to create very detailed images. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave questions and comments below. Thanks for watching.